Hello, good afternoon. Sorry, I started on a question and uh, uh, suddenly I got a phone call. So I couldn't uh, answer it. Find that. I'll just leave it at that. First and foremost, can't integrate directly. I can use substitution, but if I want to use substitution, when I differentiate x squared minus 9, I get 2x. But I have a 2x and a minus 1 hanging. I can't get rid of that minus 1. So, what I will do is, can I write this as integral 2x over x squared minus 9 minus 1 over x squared minus 9 dx. Now, the first one, the numerator is exact derivative of denominator. So, I can write it as ln x squared minus 9. That's fine. Minus integral 1 over x squared minus 9. Can't integrate directly. There is no function in derivative. It's a fraction. What's the rule for a fraction? Proper fraction? Yes. Highest power in the numerator is smaller than that in the denominator. Can you factorize the denominator? Yes. Partial fractions. So, let me do that here somewhere. So, 1 over x squared minus. Oh, yeah, I want to teach you this. Since I got an opportunity, this is only when it is simple. Is uh, a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 3. Right? What happens? I know I am using a cover up rule. Should I teach you cover up rule? Might get confused. Ah, no, nah, let's leave it. So, I get 1 equal to a times x plus 3 plus b times x minus 3. Put x equal to 3, a is 1 6. Put x equal to minus 3, b is uh, minus 1 6. So, it is 1 6, 1 over x plus 3. No, 1 over x minus 3, minus 1 6. 1 over x plus 3 dx. I can split this as two integrals here. I am just, uh, no, should I, I should confuse you. So, let us leave it there. So, therefore, it is ln x squared minus 9 minus 1 sixth integral 1 over x minus 3 plus 1 sixth integral 1 over x plus 3 dx and the dx. So, it is ln x squared minus 9 minus 1 sixth ln x minus 3 plus 1 sixth ln x plus 3. So, it is ln x squared minus 9 plus 1 sixth ln x plus 3 over x minus 3 plus c. I wanted to leave it as plus 9, but then you see some of my friends who are doing a Excel here may not understand what I am doing and may not be interested. So, I, I had to change the question to something which comes within the purview of an Excel student. So, I have done S. Very good. Now, those people doing Excel, you, if you want to switch off for this particular lesson, you are welcome because the next lot of questions are all to do with integrating functions that give you trigonom inverse trigonometric answers. So, if you are not happy or if you do not want to learn or if you are not doing for the maths, I will see you in the next lesson. But the rest of you will continue after, as they say, I wet my throat. Okay. So, I have uh, t integral 1 over root 25 minus 9x squared dx. It resembles the standard formula 1 over root a squared minus x squared is arc sine x over a. But there is a difference, so I need to write it as 1 over 5 squared minus 3x the square dx. In place of x, I have 3x. So, it is uh, arc sine 3x over 5 
but when I differentiate three x, I get a three in integration. You divide by a three. Now I have question you integral one over four plus sixteen y squared dy. This unfortunately I have seen students doing this. I just don't, don't understand why. Okay, sixteen plus four y squared. Let's make life easier. I have seen students doing four squared plus two y whole squared one over x squared plus x squared dividing by two. Why? Instead, can I write it as one over four integral one over four plus y squared dy? Is it life easier now? So it's one over integral one over two squared plus y squared dy. So it is quarter times one over two tan inverse y over two. Instead, this is the answer I have seen: integral one over Four squared plus two y the whole squared dy, which is one over a times tan inverse x over a. But when I differentiate two y over two, so don't you get the same one over a tan inverse y over two? But so many pitfalls here. So to avoid that, if we can remove a common factor, please. Remove it. Yeah. Okay. I want to do W now. Integral one over x squared minus six x. Plus twenty-five dx. Can't integrate directly. Can't use substitution. It's a fraction. I can't factorize it. I mean, it's a proper algebraic or rational expression. I can't. When I differentiate the denominator, I get two x minus six. Nothing in the numerator. I can't use partial fractions. Because that can't be factorized, then the only choice you have is complete the squares at the bottom. So x squared minus six x plus no, it can't be twenty-five. Uh, nine, so plus thirty-four. Okay. So x squared plus six x plus thirty-four is equal to a x plus b. Since only in x I can write x plus b whole squared plus c, which is x squared plus two b x plus b squared plus c. So two b x equal to minus six x. B is minus three. B squared plus c equal to thirty four. Nine plus c equal to thirty four. So c is twenty five. So it becomes integral one over X minus three, the whole squared plus five squared dx. Now that resembles one over a squared plus x squared. It's one over a arc tan x over a. Yeah, good. So I went through the whole logic. If it is a fraction, if you can't factorize, you need to complete the squares and use the formula that lead to inverse trig integral. If t equals tan theta over two, show that cos theta equal to one minus t squared over one plus t squared. And dt by d theta equal to half x squared half of one plus a half of one plus t squared. Hence, find integral, or I should say, hence evaluate. Hence evaluate integral 
0 to pi over 0 to pi uh, 1 over 5 plus 4 cos theta d theta. Where is the link? It excel for the maths, it is linear for the maths. Uh, core 2. Otherwise, let us start here. So, cos 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared is 1 minus tan squared theta over 2 divided by 1 plus tan squared theta over 2, which is 1 minus sin squared theta over 2 divided by cos squared theta over 2 divided by sec squared theta over 2. 1 over sec is cos. So, it is 1 minus sin squared theta over 2 divided by cos squared theta over 2 times cos squared theta over 2, which is cos squared theta over 2 minus sin squared theta over 2, which is cos theta. I have shown that dt by d theta equal to half sec squared theta over 2 which is half 1 plus tan squared theta over 2 which is half of 1 plus t squared. Ah, pi over 2. Okay. Now, I got integral 0 to pi over 2 1 over phi plus 4 cos theta d theta. Hence means using that. So, t equal to tan theta over 2. So, d theta equal to from here 2 dt over 1 plus t squared. Remember, whenever you change the variable, change the limits. So, when theta is 0, t is 0. When theta is pi over 2, t is tan pi over 4, which is 1. So, it is integral 0 to 1, 1 over 5 plus 4 times 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared times 2 dt over 1 plus t squared dt. That is an interesting question. All right. So, let me rub off all this. I have done all this. I have got that integral now. I have to simplify that a bit. So, it becomes integral, I can remove a 2, 1 over 5 times 1 plus t squared plus 4 times 1 minus t squared dt. So, it becomes 2 integral. 5 plus 4 is 9 plus t squared dt between 0 and 1. So, that is 2 integral 1 over 3 squared plus t squared dt between 0 and 1. So, that is 2 over 3 tan inverse 1 over 3, sorry, t over 3 between 0 and 1. So, it is 2 thirds tan inverse one third. That will be the answer. I have already come to W. I think so. I am not too sure. I think it was W. Maybe. I do not know. Uh, I will do just one more question. I do not think I will be able to exhaust the alphabet I still have a lot of questions to do, but I don't want it to become too boring. Find P and Q such that such that cos theta equal to P times 2 cos theta minus sin theta minus q times, sorry, plus q times, no, minus q times cos theta 
minus no 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 plus q times uh no plus q times yes minus two cos theta minus minus two sine theta minus cos theta hence find integral cos theta over two cos theta minus sine theta d theta. This technique I discussed towards about four or five videos ago. So from here cos theta equal to cos theta times two p minus minus q and zero equal to sin theta times mm, minus p minus two q. So two p minus q equal to one minus p minus two q equal zero. So from there, from the second one, I can say p equals minus two q. So minus four q minus q equal to one. So q is one fifth minus. So p is two fifth. So therefore, okay. So what can I write cos theta as? I can write cos theta as in place of p. I can write two fifth. In place of q, I can write minus one fifth. So if I write that, what will this question become? So the question will be integral two fifth of two cos theta minus sine theta over two cos theta minus sine theta minus one fifth of minus two sine theta minus cos theta over two cos theta minus sine theta. Here these two cancel. I get two theta over five minus one fifth. When I differentiate two cos theta, I get minus two sine theta. When I differentiate minus sine theta, I get minus cos theta. So the numerator is the exact derivative of the denominator. So minus one fifth ln two cos theta minus sine theta plus. Well, in a way, I have exhausted. I've done. I've done up to W. So twenty three questions, or maybe twenty two questions, on various method. In addition to doing questions under each method on its own. So you've got enough practice. Next time, I'll just take up substitutions and limits and different questions on integration. Some of them, one lesson will take twenty minutes. Will take two questions. Some of them I could do seven, eight. We will see how it goes. I will see you next time with more questions. That I'll be starting with number five. Bye bye. Hello. I want to take this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks. I would like to thank. Vivid Innovations Private Limited and Commerce Forum for uh, so generously giving up their uh, studio and the facilities and the services of their uh, technicians to record all these videos for free. I think that needs to be acknowledged and appreciated. Thank you very much. And my special thanks to Mr. Nitin Mahadevapa, Mr. Nishant Guruswami, and Mr. Sadan Kumar DN for all their help and assistance in getting these videos ready, uploaded, and launched. Thank you very much.